Good news for Diana Ross. Jamel Hill is back on the job. LeBron James and Gabrielle Union are working together. Wendy Williams takes extreme measures to get even. Cynthia Bailey and Peter Thomas are still together. It's bad news for the fashion police. And we have our photo of the week and more, so stay tuned. Welcome to What's the 4 and one your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. I'm Onika McLean. How you doing? Welcome. Welcome. How are you? <laughs> hey, I'm guys. Good. How you doing? Thanks for spending your time with us. Yes, yes. So, we're going to get started with some quick takes. Mm -hmm. First up, celebrated actor Morgan Freeman, I love him, is set to play Colin Powell in a Reginald Hudlin directed biopic. I hope that it's really good. Who's who's going to do it? Like, is it going to be like Lifetime or something like I, that? I don't know. Because they do biopics all the time. You know, I went to see um, a Marshall. Oh, it's a, yeah. He made that too. It, yeah. It was only okay. Oh, girl. Sorry. Do okay. not jinx this thing. No. I'm sorry. Okay. It was the bomb. But let me tell you what they did have <laughs> okay. in, in Marshall that was like so good. So, uh, so they're a good Marshall, right? That's Marshall. Um, they were at a, a, a club in Harlem, mm -hmm. and he was sitting there talking to Langston Hughes, Ooh. and then uh, August Wilson, some kind was at the table. I think I'm really? not sure. So one long? guy was August. Maybe it's not August Wilson. But then Zora Neale Hurst walked in. Wow. And then, like, she threw a little bit of shade to Langston Hughes, and I was like, I need to see that movie. <laughs> so funny. Like, because Harlem Renaissance, they need to, they need a movie about Harlem Renaissance. They Someone do because there was there was so much going on at that time, and so many like Dr. legends Marshall and stuff. Yeah. sitting there talking to Langston Hughes about Langston. Give me a break. Why don't you just go back to Paris if you don't like it? That's what he was saying stuff like yeah, this. but amazing. Well, yeah, that part was okay. amazing. So okay. hopefully, this new movie is going to be just as amazing, and this show is going to be amazing too, because LeBron James and Actress Gabrielle Union mm -hmm. are developing a comedy for ABC called White Dave. Guess what it's about? A white guy named Dave? No. Black it's about a black teen who grows up in an all-white neighborhood and then his family suddenly moves to an all-black neighborhood. Oh, that's the, that's the story of my kids. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> We're going to move from Bad Style, well, from East New York to Bad Style. Bad Style is like <laughs> the Stafford party at this point. I'm just saying. Mm. Gentrification, gentrification. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so Frank Ocean, guys, Frank Ocean uh, is victorious over his father. So it was um, a defamation suit that his father brought against oh, Frank. Is that so bugged that's out? That's so weird. Yeah, but anyway, he had to get kick rocks. Get out of here, father. <laughs> like what? what I'm so it? mad. I'm mad. I'm I mad. Don't, I don't like when they do that. Exactly. Don't Gary sue Coleman. Your kids. Well, Gary Coleman had to sue his uh, parents because they parents. like. They squandered his fortune. Yeah. That's unfortunate. All right. <laughs> RB. Well, it was a 45 point. So the, the, the guy, the father, was suing Frank Ocean for $14.5 million. That's so Definitely. Much money. Well, how, what, what did he do for a living that he lost that much money? <laughs> <laughs> Where people don't understand you sue because you would have, you can prove that you would have reaped these kind of benefits. And, Whatever. He just mm. wanted a check, okay? He wanted a big check. Yeah, and he, he did he's not, not get it. He did not get it. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you know who's getting it? Diana Ross, nice. the original diva, is going to receive. Diana Ross here today. I do, right? <laughs> yeah. What Diana Ross not. getting? <laughs> She's going to receive a Lifetime Achievement honor at the upcoming American Music Awards. Oh, so nice. that's it's amazing. Nice, nice. That's yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. And Ava DuVernay, Issa Rae, and Jay-Z are among six nominees for NAACP's Entertainment of the Year Image Award. So I hope Issa gets it. I love her. I, I mean, I know her. Ava I deserves it, but all of them deserve it. They're yeah. epic, beautiful, got, wonderful they, people. We got Chance the Rapper, too, up for it. Oh, I love like him. That. See, it's, oh. it's, it's too many. We don't no, know. Right. We don't know. You just oh, gotta, man. Black, that black excellence. Issa. No, Issa. 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 I mean, she's speaking our story. That yes. is secure. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> okay. So Jamil Hill, you know the sportscaster from okay. um, ESPN. She's she's off on her suspension now. Wow. Okay. And she's not mad about it. She's okay. I'm surprised. I thought I'm, she would have been mad about I'm it. But okay. Well, I'm surprised that Colin Kaepernick doesn't have his job back. So I mean, hey. That does not surprise me. Really? No, no. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Just, I'm not surprised at all. And that people they, are still they having football day. Football games and football, they're tailgating and stuff. I mean, when when, when the job, when the guy gonna get his job back? I don't know. <laughs> like that, you Never? know. That's why I feel like people continue to take that knee. They, they said he. They it. said he was. He had a. But he had a. Um, 
a press conference mm-hmm. the other day, yeah. and uh, they said he looked like Rollo from Sam from the Sun. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, Colin. <laughs> no. He didn't look like Rollo, though. He had a big hat. He was crazy. He looked like Roof. <laughs> They can't see what our executive Rufus producer our Rufus. executive producer looks like behind the camera. She got the hat on. She got her 70s look going on today. That's what's going on. <laughs> so, you know what's going on with Tank, right? Right? Tank so, the singer? Tank the singer. R&B okay. singer Tank. What's up, So, Tank? you know, he now wants to kind of expand into acting. So he hit up The Rock on Instagram requesting to join the Fast and Furious he wants spinoff. His own- Hobbs. Oh, he going to the top. Yes. Okay, so, good for you, Tank. So Tank, you know, he posted on Instagram. This is what he posted with a shirtless, shirtless, by the way, showing off all the goods. Okay, somebody tell At The Rock that I'm ready for the Hobbs movie right now, all caps. Mm. Cast a real savage, thanks for your consideration, savage album out now, link in bio, all caps. P.S. I'll let you guys cook up the beef while I just focus on expanding my horizons as an actor. There's enough room for all of us, contrary to what you believe. So he's so referring to... So what's cooking up the beef means? Because what's that he, mean? There's beef between Tyrese and The Rock because The Rock decided to go off and do this spinoff. Mm-hmm. And Tyrese is mad about it. And Tyrese was kind of hating on Tank from before and Genuine because, you know, they were supposed to have this cold, like, album, the second oh, album, I remember, TGT, uh, TGT, and TGT. it never did. And then, no, you know, down. Tyrese was kind of, like, throwing shade at them and then... Tyrese, Tyrese is always mad. That's what I'm saying. So we talked t- about him with a with little fight and he beating a kid. Well, why are you still mad? Tyrese so that, so mad. that was mm. the whole thing. So Tank, you know, kind of, you know, throwing a little, just a little, little petty at him right there. And so The Rock, though, responded. What the Rock hasn't say? responded to Tyrese, but he did respond to Tank. And here's what, what he, he say? say. He said, we see you, brother, at the real Tank Iron Beast. It's been very cool to see so many texting me to join our spinoff and have fun. Hashtag Hob Shaw. Oh, nice. Yeah, so he was really, like, nice and, and very, like, considerate and everything. And so Tank came back, mm-hmm. like, hyped. Having a real fan moment at the moment, guys. Fan moment at the moment. At The Rock spoke on my request. If it goes no further than this, God, I'm thankful. Blessing to you, brother. Hashtag. Brother. Hop when they shot. say brother, I hear, I hear um, Hulk Hogan. Brother. Like, it just seems so weird. Girl, what? I don't know why. <laughs> when, when you say brother, I'm just like, brother, in my mind, because I because The Rock just seems like one of those WWE, no matter what he does, he oh still seems like that to me. So anyway, <laughs> E is pulling the fashion police. Really? Yeah, they're like, bye, bye, get out of here. It's not well, people are still breaking laws with fashion. I don't know why they know. like retiring fashion. But you police. know what it is? Joan Rivers was everything to that mm. show, and yes, and, and and they should have just gotten an older comedian, like the same kind of. I don't think feel so, for though. Joan Rivers, why not? I, it's, think... I mean, there's only one Joan, Mm-mm. so it's it's over. Like that ends, and so you have to bring in a completely new thing. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Mm. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection, they need you. Can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Welcome back to What's the 411. Now we have stuff that is popping. Mm-hmm. So, okay. standing by her man. Miss Wendy Williams. Miss William, Wendy Williams is standing by her man so much so that she fired a plethora of people on her staff because she Ooh. felt now get this 
they were not being loyal because they perpetuated the rumor of her husband uh, cheating on her with please, the mistress and all that stuff. So people please. lost their jobs because of that. Is that crazy? It is crazy. It is crazy because, you know, the, the Guardian already came out with the article. So it's not about, like, who thinks that it, it, it's real or not real. At this point, it's out for the public to make their own decisions. So, I mean, firing people is not going to make your husband faithful to you. And, Just saying. And, and, and what loyalty do uh, employee owe you as it relates to your personal business? Like, what are yeah. you talking about? What, what, what are we doing here? You listen. But so, that's Wendy, though. Like, she closes ranks, and she protects her I, family, I and she protects her husband. Her. I think it's no. him. I really think, I think I mean, it is, I think that why, it's him. Why do you think it's him? Like, because I've read a couple articles about, like, his personality and just how he conducts business, and it just, it's really uh, boisterous. It's really, you know, intimidating. And I, maybe she is hard body. Isn't he from Brownsville? He is from Brownsville. Okay. That's, that's hard, hard body. He's hard body. That's hard body. So, oh, so, so who do you think is going to be the person that finally comes clean and says, okay, this is what's happening, this is what's real? Do you think it's going to be Wendy or Kevin? Nobody. Because remember. Yeah, I agree. She had that um, her radio show, mm -hmm. and uh, her intern sued her, and she never came out to say you know he did something wrong or so. So no, no. Oh yeah, was it to she, the death of her? Yeah, she's not gonna do that. Okay. Well, why, 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 did, why did he get? Why did she get sued? What was Kevin it was, doing? It was it was sexual harassing his her uh, interns. Wow. Wow. Right. Remember so, the bombs she used to drop during the shows? I feel like so a bomb about, needs now. So that. it's this article that I found on uh, the Daily Mail UK okay, yeah. that said in the article that the mailbox oh, belonging yes. to the yeah, alleged yeah, I, I mistress, Daily Mail, yeah. right, the mistress, that his name is on the mailbox. Now, he his name is Kevin, right, <laughs> Hunter. That's, that's a really, like, oh my goodness. broad name, but that's just, like, a little crazy. Like, Wendy, I don't, I don't know. And, and guys, this is what we think, right? What do you guys think? Like, she has... Built her career on talking trash. Talking trash, right? Of course. So now it's her turn. Like, I don't think that she has the right to do all the things that she's doing. What do you mean? Like, not be a gossip person? No, I mean, she can, no, 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 that's no, her thing. no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm, let me talk to Chrissy, um, Kiss for one minute. I'm not saying that. <laughs> what, I'm say, what I'm saying is, I don't feel that, like, like with the 50 cents, I, I think that being that she has perpetuated her... It's coming back to Her fortune to bite her. on other people's misfortune. Yeah. Right yeah. now that it's coming back, she should just kind of like take it with a grain of salt, just keep it on the back. I wouldn't even say anything. Don't address it if you're not gonna address it. Don't address it either. That's nay what she or, or I wouldn't address it. That well, that's what she's done. Remember the last thing that she said on the show was, you know, I stand by my man. It's okay. I believe him. We're our stuff is tight, and now we just hear about this firing. So why are you firing out. people? Right, just leave it alone. Act like because you know. She's trying to this say this things. wise woman always told me. If you're not going to do anything about it, act like you don't know. It's listen. true. If you ain't going to do anything, what, what are we talking listen, about here? Listen, listen. I'm just, I'm just, that's just an old millennial. Okay, okay. Old, old okay. generation. <laughs> generation. What am I, X? Y? What are you, Y? You're not even Y. Why are you not Y if you're a millennial? I don't know. Why the hell y'all came up? That's what happened. You know okay. what? Mm. All right, what were you going to ask the audience? You were talking to the audience. I, was, you were asking them. I asked the audience, I said to you guys, do you think that she gets a, gets a pass because she's built her life and her fortune on other people's misfortune, so now it's her turn? I don't think that she gets the right to just, no. like, fire and do a bunch of stuff. Hit us up in the comments. So. Let us know. Let us know what you think. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I. Cruz, zinc or bell? Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, bro. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Speaking of relationships, so remember Cynthia Bailey? 
on the Real Housewives of <laughs> Evan Lynn. Oh my gosh, no, I like her. She's really nice. Wait, I'm, wait, okay. I'm, wait let me take a nap. You know what? Hate. Um, hate. This is hate. I'm not hating. You know throwing shade I, That's on crazy. That's Bailey. millennial, right? Anyway. I'm just expressing my opinion. I anyway, think she's boring. I'm no. sorry. Okay, so she sat down with Essence. She was not boring. But she wanted to talk about her relationship with her ex-husband, Peter Thomas. Remember their relationship and how they were always fighting and there was always this tension and craziness? All uh -huh. right. So she said to Essence, she said, Look, listen. We actually have unfinished business. I'm his partner at Bar One in Atlanta, so they have a business together. Mm -hmm. Quote, we're building it now. This was a project that we started while we were together, and we kind of put it on hold while we were kind of not liking each other so much. But, she continues, just because you're not with someone anymore, because it didn't work, whatever, doesn't mean they're still not family. I still do look at him as family. There are still relationships that are in place that I want to go on forever. Sorry. We're just no longer together. I have no regrets. We had a great run. A lot of great things came out of our marriage. It just didn't work out. A, so a what, lot of great ratings. So, <laughs> so uh, my thing is, I think she's really classy to take the high road. What do you think about, are you surprised she's yeah, taking she the, high the high road? That's what she does. She takes and do the high you, road. Okay. And do you think that she should just cash out of this business? Like, don't continue it. It's going to be impossible you know, given her past with Peter to actually have a business together with this man. So I think that marriage is the ultimate business, right? And so I feel like if you can't like do the marriage together, you're probably not going to be able to do the business together. But if your coins are already in it, because I remember I used to watch the housewives faithfully and she put a lot of money into Peter. She put yes. a lot of money into that little Peter guy. So I get she's probably trying to cash back in because nobody's buying no. those glasses and nobody's buying that that those the swimwear. So the and bar one in Charlotte is doing phenomenal. So my assumption is, you know, why not get your coins? Get your coins, but I know that it's really hard to have anything with an ex-husband. I mean, I try to have kids with my ex-husband. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that <laughs> shit out. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm just saying. Uh... Okay. No, I, yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you. Like, I think that, yes, yeah, she's trying to get some type of return on her investment, but I don't think it's going to be easy for her to work with him if she couldn't marry, stay, you know what I mean? Like, they couldn't make a marriage or how they're going to make this business work. Peter is very demanding. He's very bossy. Lawyers. I don't know if she is going to want to, like, be under that yoke. So I think she should cash out and move on. I know, because and, I don't think she, she, has, she has the Housewives franchise, but yeah. it seems like that's kind of, like, coming to an end, right? Do you watch it anymore? I haven't watched it in a while. Right, a lot of people are feeling the same way. So uh, if you have your money in a business and you've already outlaid some cash, I would just rock it out. She can get a lawyer. Keep, 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 keep your should. coins, girl. Keep your coins. like that's, And stay in the business with him. Yeah, I think that she should just stay. We'll see how this works out. <laughs> we'll give you an update in six months. <laughs> mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh. soon. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. This makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. What's popping in music? John Legend. Don't you love John Legend and his little family? Oh. <laughs> so he's using his his platform to shed light on injustices in society. That's yeah. good, right? He's really doing the whole dirty backpacker thing. So what he said, right? <laughs> what he said. And his new, um, his latest single is called Penthouse Floor. It was nice, nice. It's a nice song. It's very jazzy. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Like it. So it's off the album Darkness and Light. Mm -hmm. A legend is sending a message lyrically and uh, visually mm -hmm. that you're supposed to amass your success mm -hmm. and then give it back 
to right. the world. Right. Right. So that's wonderful. That's yes, what I just I, like him. He's just such a dope person. Yeah, he's I like it. Such a dope person. I'm not really into liking guys with big heads, but he gets a pass. You, you're shady today. You're so shady. I am shady today. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, but not sorry. Yeah. You know what? No, I like the song. I think mm -hmm. it's a good message. And I think also the message of the song, too, is the fact that people get to a certain level and they forget about what's happening down here. Because he has, like, a couple of lines in the song where he's talking about, oh, you can't hear us down here. And right. so he's like, okay, we're just going to bust in this penthouse and we're going to, you know, make it work. And, and show. Right. No, and, and, and spread the wealth and help everybody. So we need that right now. Yeah. We're living in some dark times. It's calling it dark and light. Yes, some dark times. I don't know. I don't feel like it's dark. I know. I know. It's just. It's just my. <laughs> it's my like perception. I when I see the things, and I'm like, oh, Puerto Rico, oh, Florida, oh, Trump, all oh, this, all oh, that, and I just kind of feel like there's going to be this real big bright light at the end of all of this. And well, so, right now we are in darkness. <laughs> darkness. Okay. So. Well, I've been we in darkness my whole life. You see how dark I am. So I just got to keep looking to the light. I'm sorry. That's what I'm <laughs> I know. <laughs> Crazy I'm sorry. We gotta laugh. You have to laugh, people. We have to laugh. Uh huh. Coming from the comedian, of course. No, we have to laugh. Or you're just gonna be just okay. So any dog on way. Uh -huh. So do you guys? Well, I guess we don't. So our question to you guys were: Do you think that we're getting closer to this ideal? You know, people are really turning a more positive, making a more positive spin on in. Um, uh, injustices, right? And things that are, yeah, right, negative right. Things that are negative happening. Negative things that are happening and, and trying to do their part to the, you know, to contribute to the world. Yeah. Which is like amazing. That wasn't really happening as much before we got 45 in there because now everyone has this like consciousness that they're like revving up. We got it, yeah. And I think that it's like uh, amazing. I, so. I agree. I agree. So yeah, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you think. About John Legend, what do you think about our dark times and our light time, that different perspective? Let us know what you think. And our photo of the week is a photo of Myesha Johnson crying over the casket of her husband, Sergeant LaDavid T. Johnson, who was killed in an ambush and left behind for two days in Niger. Our condolences to Ms. Johnson and their family. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Never. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. The average tax takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. Okay, so guess who's been invited back to perform at the Super Bowl next year? Who was uninvited? Justin Timberlake. And Janet so, Jackson? No. No Janet Jackson. That is the whole point. So... No, Janet Social Jackson. media like blew up when the when the news came out that Justin Timberlake was going to headline the M NFL halftime show, but Janet Jackson was not invited back. So I'm like, really? Like, how is it that he did what he did? They both did it, right? It was an accident. It happened to both of them. But he walked away unscathed, and you know, she's never been invited back. This is going to be his third time performing at the NFL. Super Bowl halftime show. And so everybody was like, After hashtag. that, or it was his second time? There was second her. time. This will be his third time. And that's okay. like, But what rare. does he have that's out that's so amazing? Uh, some, some new album that he has. Well, I that's because Jay-Z turned them down. Well, still, though, still. You could have, there's so many artists that you could bring on there. And why not bring out Janet? So social media has something to say. So people were, like, tweeting, um... Oak Lad GSW was like, why is Justin Timberlake being invited to perform again when Janet Jackson is banned for life for something that was entirely his fault? Well, well she's, she's not actually banned. Like, she's not, right? no, she's not banned. Like, they were, yeah. neither one of them were banned, but they just weren't invited back. So that is terrible. And then Lindsay Parker said, he should invite Janet to sing with him. He probably might. Then have her rip off his pants, ruin his career, and walk away unscathed. He didn't, so rip, he didn't ruin Janet's career. Nobody can ruin Janet's oh, career. Oh, no. It's no. Janet. 
Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. And she's on tour right now, doing her thing. Yeah. But people are saying maybe he's maybe she's going to be a guest. You never know. And she, they're trying to see if maybe, maybe he's going to do the right why. thing and he's going to bring her on. I don't know. Maybe that's why they're not talking about Janet because that's going to be the big surprise. You know what I mean? I don't know. You know everyone's mad at the NFL right now anyway, so they got to do something. Trust me. They may not even watch. <laughs> I know our executive producer Ruth Morrison is not going to watch because she already said but that. But most people are going to watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> I talked to my brother the other day. I said, well, if you're so mad about this, why are you watching? He was like, I'm addicted. It's true. Like, people are addicted to, to sports. It's our pastime. It's what we've been conditioned to, to look at on Monday nights and Sundays. and all. I say justice for society. Janet. I say justice for Janet. I say justice, justice for uh, Colin Kaepernick. Like, when the boy gonna get the job back? Like this is ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know. Didn't he? Didn't he sue? He did something. He needs recently. To, well, he needs to do something like this is. And we're still recently. trying to figure out Kanika Jenkins. Oh wow! Yeah. Right. Oh, like Lord. I mean, a lot of stuff just gets, gets pushed under the rug. It's kind of like we should. That's, keep talking this is about why it. we are in dark times. That's what I'm telling you. We're not. You. We're, not, we're, we're not. Because we because you know why we're not because we have this thing called media. And everyone gets to express their opinions now. So a lot of stuff is at the forefront, and it wouldn't have been before. The, the times were dark when we didn't talk about anything. The times were dark when we pretended like it didn't happen. The, those were the times were dark. Now everything is live in, in, in Memorex. Nice. So, Memorex. 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 I'm old. I got all these old references. <laughs> Bill Memorex. Do you remember Memorex? It's VHS, right? Tape. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But it was cameras before. Book up. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> our motivational quote of the week is, we must put the days of waiting on our ship to come in behind us. It's time to learn how to swim out to the ship, or better yet, create our own ship and sail where God has intended us to go. And that comes to us from Ryan Mack, one of our LinkedIn followers. Thank you, Ryan. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. <laughs> mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh, soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. That will do it for this week's edition of What's the 4 and 1, your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. Until next week, check out our website, um, www.whatstheforeandone.com. Yes, and remember to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 4 and 1 TV. Download our podcast. Yes, yes. we got a podcast on now. iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play Music. Yes, I'm Kizzy Cox, and on behalf of Anika McLean, thank you for watching. What's the four and one? Until next time. Four one one. Who's got the four one one? Four one one. They got the four one one. Who's got the four one one? We got the four one one. What's the four one one? The four one one. What's the four one one? They got the four one one. We got the four one one. What's the four one one? They got the four one one. What's the four one one? What's the four one one?